Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 138 Hidden Expert Fire Dance's eyes flickered when she saw Shurfang's figure. Aside from the immense pressure that she felt from him, she could also smell the stench of death on him. From the moment Shurfang appeared, she was aware of Shurfang's existence. However, Shurfang's movements and battle techniques were just too quick to the point where she even questioned her own senses. Only when the team leader died was she shocked out of her days. From the death of the first cleric to the death of the swordsman, only a short five seconds had passed. Every time Shurfong revealed himself, another player fell to the ground, blood spurting from their bodies. Shurfong was like the Grim Reaper, harvesting the lives of Marshall Union's members. One could only describe Shur Feng's movements as erratic. Shur Feng also wore a pitch-black hooded cape that hid his face. In addition, the demon mask hid his name, level, and other information. Aside from his HP bar, there was nothing else to see. It would not be strange even if he received the same treatment as a monster. The only reason Fire Dance knew Shurfong was not a monster was that she had overheard Shurfong speaking to the swordsman team leader in a low tone. However, the fact that Shurfong was not a monster, but instead, a player, shocked Fire Dance even more. Just how high were Shurfong's attributes for him to be so strong? Meanwhile, Shurfong felt nothing unexpected about the feats he had just accomplished. The attributes of these players was not even half of his own. Virtual reality games were just that cruel. Although the gap of attributes between each level was small, when accumulated to a certain degree, the gap in total strength would be massive. Quick! Escape! That's a monster! I'm not fighting anymore! That monster is just too scary! Although they knew that this was just a virtual reality, the remaining five players from Martial Union were still utterly afraid their hearts beating madly. Their team leader, the strongest amongst them, died in an instant. He wasn't even able to retaliate in the slightest. This was no longer a monster that players could handle. Immediately, every one of them fled, intending to meet up with the others hurrying over. Only then could they have peace of mind. It's too late to escape now. Sure Fong activated Windwalk, and like an arrow, his body shot forth, instantly catching up to the first assassin. In a fright, that assassin attempted to turn his body to block Shur Feng's attack. Unfortunately for him, Shur Feng's attack speed was just too fast. With a wave of the abyssal blade, three sword images landed upon the assassin's vital points. Without even managing to block a single sword image, the assassin died. When the several other escaping players saw that an assassin, a class widely known for their agility, fell without even being able to defend, immense fear permeated their minds. They poured more into their effort to escape. However, it was futile as the distance between them and Shurfong only grew shorter and shorter. Meanwhile, the Abyssal Blade was like the scythe of the Grim Reaper already placed around their necks. Shurfong needed only a slight tug, and their lives would be forfeit, right then and there. Within a moment, with an absolute difference of speed, Sure Fong very quickly killed the five escaping players. He then started tidying up the loot. These Martial Union players all wore pretty nice armor. A majority of them were all fully equipped with bronze equipment, and some even had a few pieces of mysterious iron equipment. However, the equipment was all just level 4 or level 5 equipment. Meanwhile, they each dropped at least one piece of equipment after death. 18 players meant 18 pieces of level 4 to level 5 bronze equipment. If Sher Fong sold it all, he could make a small fortune. While Sher Fong picked up the drops, Fire Dance, standing at a distance, held her delicate hand over her madly beating heart. Slightly calming her emotions, she picked up the courage to walk towards Sher Fong, saying in gratitude, I am called Fire Dance. Thank you for saving us. Originally, Fire Dance despaired, having prepared for her death. Only, she never imagined that someone would suddenly appear. Moreover, that someone massacred the players from Martial Union. Everything that happened was like a dream, although Fire Dance also worried that the mysterious man before her would suddenly go berserk, killing her and her teammates as well to steal their equipment. 
based on the man's previous actions, Fire Dance knew that the mysterious man before her did not mean them any harm. Otherwise, he would have already taken their lives along with the swordsmen of Martial Union. You don't have to thank me. To begin with, these people originally set up this trap for me. You guys should hurry and leave. This place is very dangerous right now, and the other members of Martial Union should be arriving very soon, Sher Fong softly said as he picked up the dropped equipment. He had only saved Fire Dance and her companions in passing. He could also take the chance to thank Fire Dance for working so hard, killing the members of Martial Union. Fire Dance suddenly blanked at Sher Feng's words, staring at him with her big, watery eyes. Her heartbeat accelerated further, feeling like it was too good to be true. You, your Yi Feng? Fire Dance asked in disbelief. The reason she came to the Gale Valley was that she had heard that Marshall Union intended to deal with Yi Feng's teammates. Hence, she thought of coming to lend some help and just maybe, she might even get to meet Yi Feng himself. It was truly unbelievable how fate could toy with a person's life. Originally, she thought of offering Yi Feng aid. Yet in the end, Yi Feng had saved her. Was this fate? Thinking up to this point, a faint blush added to Fire Dance's snow white cheeks. She felt that she was overthinking, and she was unclear as to why she would have such a thought. That's right. I am Yi Feng. How did you know who I am? Sher Feng looked at the excited Fire Dance, puzzled. He was sure he was not acquainted with this beauty standing in front of him. However, seeing Fire Dance's expression, it would seem that she was somehow familiar with him. Meanwhile, the berserker Water Buffalo was tongue-tied after hearing Sher Feng admit that he was indeed Fire Dance's idol, Yi Feng. An incomparable fanaticism appeared in his eyes. Previously, he felt Sher Feng was not all that powerful, and that he was only an expert over-exaggerated by others. Now, he was utterly convinced. Sure enough, there was nothing false about Sher Feng's famous reputation. Sher Feng could solo the elite team from Martial Union that even they could not deal with. In the past, even if others hyped it all over the place, he would still have not believed any of it. Now, however, aside from shock, admiration for Yi Feng filled his being. It was no wonder why Yi Feng was Fire Dance's idol. Big brother Yi Feng, you don't know this, but in reality, Sister Fire Dance is your... Before Water Buffalo could finish speaking, he received a kick from Fire Dance. He grimaced from the pain, but when he looked at the expression in Fire Dance's eyes that seemed able to eat a person whole, he immediately chose to cover his mouth, not uttering a single word. Is my what? Sher Feng was puzzled. It's nothing. Water Buffalo is just having an epileptic fit. Big Brother Yi Feng, won't you leave with us? Fire Dance slightly shook her head. She then worriedly said, this time, Marshal Union has sent over 200 men here. They have long since surrounded this entire area. There are also several powerful level 9 experts, and all of them are wearing sets of mysterious iron equipment. They killed many of our teammates. If they surround us, we will have no chance of escaping at all. Big Brother Yi Feng, it is not too late to escape. If we wait any longer, we'll lose the chance. If it weren't for those experts, her team would not have incurred such huge losses. Level 9 experts, is it? Sher Feng was slightly shocked. The current level 9 players in Red Leaf Town were experts at the pinnacle. Now, however, several level 9 hidden experts suddenly appeared here. Moreover, they were all Martial Union's men. However, so what if they were level 9 experts? Since they wished to deal with him, he would receive every one of them. It just so happened that he could use them to test his sword. You guys should hurry up and leave. I'll stay here and take a look at these experts.